Now that we've created objects out of all of our sprites, we're going to create a room or a level for our game. As you can see, this has been fairly easy so far. We're going to right click on room and left click on create room. When you first create a room, this is what it looks like. You got this ugly grid and tan color here, gray. And we're going to and you'll notice on the left here is the last graphic that we've inserted into an object, the brick animation. And all of your objects can be found with this drop down box, left clicking this button. If you did not create an object out of your sprite, then the object will not appear here. So, what I love about GameMaker is it's almost like a map editor. Once you get your objects finished, all you do is place them in the game and they work. So let's left click this button here and select a brick and create a brick wall for our playing field, our level. Now I know the dimension of the brick is is about would work well on a 24 snap, so I'm going to change the snap to 24 and go ahead and place my brick in the game. You'll notice that there's um the brick on the corner slightly exceeds the viewing area. If you click on settings, we're having the game in a 640 by 480 setting, a uh, resolution. I'm going to change this to 800 cuz I don't I don't like that low of a resolution, 800 by 600. So, I'm going to go ahead after settings, you can go back to the objects tab, right click some of these bricks if you've placed them already and delete them and I'm gonna place the bricks to fit in this game world as you notice it's still it's not gonna be perfect but I like this better I can drag some graphics off the field here okay it looks like Oops. Now you'll notice when I put a graphic over another graphic, it deletes the graphic underneath. To avoid this, just hit the lock button right here. And then when you put graphics down, it won't delete the graphics underneath. And then right click to delete, it won't delete the graphics underneath, but only the newly placed ones. And then you can unlock if you wish to delete something. So I'm going to lock that into place. Now we need um, our other bricks that we're going to destroy with a ball. Go ahead and place the bar here. Um, place a ball. It's a large ball. We'll fix that. Get this about what you want. And go ahead and select brick. And don't worry about brick animation for now. I'm going to change my snap to 14. And place these in here. I like everything to look nice and even. But you may want your bricks organized a different way and you can do that just changing the snap or placing it individually with no snap. Okay. And there we have it. Um our newly created level. Now let's edit each individual graphic in this so things will work properly when I hit this play button. Cuz as you can see, absolutely nothing is happening right now <laughs> so I'll escape and we'll go on to the next tutorial